is happening, people? Welcome to Saeed TV Match Reaction. Manchester United 1-0. Back to winning ways, man. We needed that, man. After three, was it no wins in three? Um, no goals in three games. My United had to bounce back, and my word, was it hard work, mate. That is a hard-fought win. 1-0 to the United. Back to old school Fergie days where you grind it out. It's not Fergie football. It's not... Uh, it wasn't a glamorous game, but I tell you what, man, great determination. I wanted performances today. I wanted it, and I got it today. McTominay, amazing. You know, sometimes I criticise McTominay, but the manager got it right today. McTominay, further forward, man. I'm, I'm sorry, man. It's it's not cutting at my United football because he doesn't have the end quality. Today he's in there. He fought in there against the likes of, you know, their midfielders that they've got in there. These are Danish internationals. These are guys who are very physical, very energetic, but he didn't give them movement today. Bruno Fernandes, again, captain display that was that was brother fernandez at his best today just getting stuck in there tenacious giving the ball you know sometimes he gave the ball away today but there was a few good passes in that game and i thought today he run around but i've got to give it to lissandra martinez today listen ivan tony today will be running nightmares today because lissandra martinez has pocketed him today and i thought to be to be fair we we lost 4-0 but i thought lissandra martinez did well against ivan tony but today he didn't give him room aggressive defender we're looking at again one of these signs of the season, I'm saying it right now, man. Lissandro Martinez, for me, bargain, mate. This guy does not stop. Def he, he loves defending, and I've said that many, many times in this, in this match reaction. He loves defending. He loves being aggressive. Today, he didn't let Ivan Tony one time get the ball on control and let him do what he needs to do. Ivan Tony flicks on, you know what he's about, but he didn't let him move. He was almost defending on the halfway line, in, half, you know, in terms of a, you know, press him so high up the pitch and then Varane was there to kind of cover up there was only one time where they got him behind and Varane made a mistake got caught napping and then they came behind not one time did Sandro Martinez lose a battle let me know in the comments below but he did not lose a battle today and my United needed a reaction it was poor against Newcastle but every 50-50 we won every first tackle we were in there we were pressing from minute zero to minute 90 we did not let them breathe not once did I see them get on the half turn shovel boom you know what I mean? They didn't. And the, the manager was growing restless. He made, he made every single substitution today. That tells you all you need to know, man. He was so determined to find something different. And he couldn't find it because Ten Hag had a plan today. Ten Hag puts a bit further forward and that's where he is better. So bits ain't no six, man. He is an eight strash stroke 10 if you kind of call it he's better when he's advanced he's better when he's further forward when he's playing the six he's very limited he's further forward he's aggressive he's tenacious he gets up the pitch and and i think for me he can give you the flick ons and he's seen it for the goal that goal for me was unbelievable anthony again one of our best attackers in the game as well today doesn't stop working but that was an unbelievable ball into sabitzer sabitzer plays into rashford and rashford equals i think van nistelrooy in terms of ga that is amazing when you look at it marcus rashford he equals rude van nistelrooy in terms of goals and assists i don't think it's at home but i don't think it's all all games but you know what man that is another player again scoring goals man and back to scoring goals and that's what we needed him today man because i tell you what man there's not a lot of goals in this man united team and today it took one you know what i mean i think that's a bit of a worry a bit of concern for me more players need to chip in with goals man you know what i mean we could have had a few more fred as well could have had one skyrocketed anthony had a few skyrocketed chances and whatnot but goals are hard to come by but i tell you what if you can give you know what i mean um Resolute performances, resilient performances as tonight. It was all about digging in today. I think a lot of nerves going into the game. Brentford, physical team, a team that's on the up, a team that is very, very much in form. And today we limited them, man. We starved them. And Buemo couldn't get and, and do them little flickers and them little link up plays with, with, with um, Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony couldn't get in behind. Ivan Tony couldn't get the ball and, and do it. And that's where Lissandro Martinez came into play. He was the, for me the, the, the kind of anchor in that back line. David De Gea, probably, listen, man, a day to forget, a day to forget. The people in the chat will, will know till they come at me. But David De Gea was pause. His, his kicking today just caused anxiety, man. And you know what? I'm a big David De Gea fan, but. It's almost as if the Brentford fans were taunting him at the end. They're calling him a, a shit David Raya, which, again, doesn't look good today. But there was a, there was one ball that he made into Sancho, and it get, everyone almost gave him a round of applause. And I was like, well, that should be standard. But obviously, with David here, it's not his biggest attribute. You know what I mean? He did keep us in the end with that with that big save where he nearly got injured with that one. But that's um, that's David here for you, man. That is David here for you. He'll make the biggest shot stop. Again, going... You know, you know, this you can either have one save. David, David, David here probably saves that Rashford goal, but 
doesn't give you what David Raya gives you. <laughs> and, and David Raya gives you what David Gea doesn't have, but maybe doesn't make them say David De Gea makes. You've got to get equal balance. I think David Raya is a, is a good keeper and I think he's probably going to be the next number one here because I think for the price and for what he is Premier League proven, he is going to be that player. But I'll tell you what, some of, some of his, um, what do you call it, um, some of the saves that David Gea still makes, this is why I always will love David Gea. This is why I always call him numero uno. I understand his limitations, but this is what he can do, man. But all in all, I think for me, the plus is today, Dallow again. Listen, Dallow was outstanding today. I've got to give it today. Dallow was immense today. The whole back line was immense. Malasia cameo. Listen, Luke Shaw might be out, but I tell you what, you have got an assured Malasia. A Malasia who would not let you down. When does Malasia let you down, apart from one game, two games this season? When does he let you down? Technically very secure, man. He's very, very secure, technically. Every time when he looks like he's in danger, the guy, you know, he turns away and I think Ten Hag gave him a, a clap when he, when, he, when, he was, when he was getting pressured by the Brentford defenders. Just like intelligent to say, you know what, now nah, I've got this. I've got this. So I thought that was good as well today. And I thought Anthony again works hard, man. Listen, man, people talk what they talk about Anthony, but again, defensively, he's up there helping defence and also attacking-wise. He's still our outlet, man. He's only the one that I think for me gets you on the edge of your seat, that gives you actually direct wing play. Sometimes when you, with Rashford, he's, he's got there, but sometimes I'm just like, mm, not sure. But with Anthony, he's that live way on that, on that, on that right-hand side. And he stretches the, the defence, he stretches teams. And that's what you want from, from, from Anthony. But all in all, man, we're back into the top four. Newcastle won 5-1 today. They're not going around, man. We have to do what we have to do. Brighton play Tottenham on Saturday. So someone's got to drop points there. Hopefully, for, for, the, for, for the short term, it's Tottenham. Obviously, on the long term, Brighton are coming. But... Ultimately, United have got to keep winning. This is the first win now out of si out of six points. That's three out of six. Everton, we go there and we and, and, and we got to win that game as well. They'll be coming in. They'll be fighting for their lives. But we must must win. We must keep our composure. But today was a was a hard fought win. Today was just about about winning. Today, win win win. No matter what, we go home. It's raining. It's cold. It's miserable. It's that sort of night, man. It's just one of them games where. You don't forget about these games, and this is what it is. For me, my man of the match, Lissandro Martinez, let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon, guys. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.